Okay, I just wanted to make a quick bit video about a few settings and especially one if you're getting scraping on your 3D print kind of like this. This ain't mine but it's a video I found. <laughs> So if it's scraping like that, what you want to do is in Cura, if you are getting that scraping, make sure like up here, type in combing, C-O-M-B-I-N-G, and make sure combing mode is off. Another one is Z-Hop, Z space hop. Make sure you have Z-Hop when retracted, and then this distance works for me. And now it clears the prints perfect because it was get I was getting a little bit of scraping sometimes, kind of how that one was. So, and then after a bit of research, I found out. So if you're getting them problems of the scraping, make sure to change them two settings as well. Earlier, I see somebody was asking about where I'll get my profiles and stuff from. This group on Facebook, FL Sun V400 Amazing Speed 3D Printer Official Group. It's got a lot of handy stuff on there. And the same in these files, a lot of people share, you know, their profiles and stuff like that. So this is where I got mine from. I actually, it's one of the links on there, but this is where I got mine from. And like on here, you can go to Cura and then you can say quality. You got all these, if you normally use PLA, you can click the PLA, pick your nozzle size. And then you can see this one's a draft print. This is a fast print. This is a high quality print, just normal and very draft. So just some settings they've changed in there. But whichever one you choose, I suggest if you're getting any scraping to still change them two settings because I've noticed a lot of people have been having that problem. But yeah, just check. I'll just quickly show one more time. It comes up like this and then you just want to go to the file section here and look down or just type in the search here and you can see there they loaded PETG and normally if you click these they'll explain what they've done so but I mean something you got to watch out because I don't know who these people are but mainly if it's me written on the side of the spool when you buy it your, your filament it should have a temperature all you want to do is go down to like material and this is where you can change your printing temperature and your build plate temperature and I was getting fine prints out of my machine just by changing them originally apart from I started to get scraping so then I started messing with that Z hop and combing but other than that I ain't changed a lot I mean the infill you want to change depending how much infill you want and one good thing to get from the marketplace there's a few but this settings guide if you download that, yeah, if you add that and install it, it, as you scroll over any of these, it will tell you what they do. So if you're new to it, it's really handy. Yeah, whatever, you know, through every setting. So that's a handy one to download. I'm just going to show a little bit of my room that I just got finished doing outside. I moved the, my, my machine outside in the end because I did have it in my editing room, but... Me and my wife spend a lot of time in here and she was starting to get like an eye irritation. I don't know if it was definitely from that, but I decided in the end to put it outside. But you can see this room's pretty dark compared to how bright it is in there. So I just painted that white and just built a little room basically for it off of the laser room. Around this side, I just had to do a green screen like video around here. Got a bit of clearing up to do. But yeah, it's a nice room to do video in there. So you can see it's nice and bright in there. Oh, I've just got the speeder pad just built in on the little thing like that. And then webcam's just up on here with a stand. I've got this light above, I put a little bit of weight on the end to tilt it inwards and then this light here I did have a spotlight but I didn't put it in because it was too much above the machine so that's why I've not posted a video in a couple of days 
Like I say, I'm waiting for the uh, Wi-Fi to come back so I can get my time lapses. So, yep, yeah, that was it. Just a quick one. And thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.